So, so the reason there's a logo here is because right now in Zoom, I'm using um, OBS, Open Broadcast Software, to basically alter what is coming in as my webcam, right? And OBS is like a totally different software. I'm not doing any of this like magic stuff in Zoom. But what it allows you to do is allows you to change what people are seeing as your webcam. So you can do really simple things like have a logo. I can even turn it on and off um, by just toggling something in OBS. But I can also do things like this. So I'm not screen sharing right now. <laughs> so cool. Yes. <laughs> Um, so I'm not screen sharing right now, right? This is just my webcam, like being manipulated and showing both me and my slides at the same time. And I can also make the setup look a little bit fancier if I want to, where like I've got an image background, I've got this text um, that's up there. I could toggle on and off that text. I also have it set up. So now you can see this. Wow. Wow. Um, and right now, like you, the entire time for you, you have been seeing just my webcam in Zoom, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of this. So for me, one of the things that has been so challenging as a virtual facilitator is just managing everything, right? You're like, okay, as soon as I screen share, I have to make sure I have this screen open and I select the right window. And I like, and in OBS, you can basically do all of that work ahead of time, setting up specific scenes ahead of time. And then all I'm doing is hitting some hotkeys that I've set to those scenes, or you can even just click on them in OBS and it will change them. So those ones I just showed you are really easy, like this and this, super easy to set up could help you do it in probably a half an hour after you have it installed. Even this one, really nothing more. If you can make a PowerPoint, you can make this in OBS. Like if you know how to style a PowerPoint, um, then you can totally make this. But you can also get it to do really different things that like you just can't make Zoom do like this, where it will start like a countdown timer. I could have made this prettier, but this was, I made this um, in the last 20 minutes. So you can have this countdown timer and you can set it to whatever you want. And all of this I'm manipulating with just a couple of presses of a button that I did ahead of time. And there's also, I have this running on an app right now on my phone where when I press a button, what? hold on. No way. I'm, Shut it down. I'm, I'm not touching, <laughs> I'm not touching anything on the I'm not touching anything on the computer to switch stuff. Wow. Like I'm doing uh, this on here. And that is just so much less stressful than having to do anything on my computer. Um, 